welcome to those watching on YouTube. Um, if you've been following my Extra Life Charity stream, this is donation incentive number two. Um, because I made my goal of $300. This was a donation incentive for $285, in which I will be showing off um, one of potentially many ways of skipping the wood sword completely and um, getting the white sword and getting the blue ring before ever going into level one and then beating level one just to show off how ridiculous easy it is. Um, so hope you enjoy. If you are on YouTube and you want to come see us, please do. Twitch channel is in the description. And so will be a donation part, just in case you feel like donating. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright. So, of course, right here is where you normally get the wood sword. But fuck that guy. We don't need no wood sword. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't actually have no experience with whatever hex chat is, but I just, like I said, I pop the chat out with, in Twitch and just have OBS look at it, basically, and use it as a source. Um, so pretty easy to do. You may have to see, you may see me from time to time, like right here, I'm going to bounce back and forth to reset the spawns, because I don't want those guys spawning in this little corridor when I'm trying to go through it. So you might every once in a while see me bounce in and back out of a screen to reset the spawns in case they, the, 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 the uh, enemies move somewhere I don't want them to be. At least initially. Um, okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to come here and... Um, get these 30 rubies. Because the first thing we're going to do is buy some bombs. Alright, so he's not moving the way I want him to, so I'm going to reset the spawns. Okay, that'll work. So yeah, this part tends to suck since I don't have a weapon yet, so I just gotta play the game of dodge everything. So we'll come in here and get some bombs. So now we're going to do it this way. And we're going to come down here. Dodge these guys. Oh, I hit it. Ah, okay, I hit it again. Okay. So this is the first of, I believe there's... Four or five. I think it's five. It's five. First of five heart containers that you can just get in the overworld. <clears throat> and so there's that. Now, um, for those of you who don't know, there's a character. There's a guy that basically has a sword, and it's the white sword. And the only clue you're given is that he says master using it, and you can have this. But it doesn't exactly tell you what that means. Well, for those of you who have never played this game or just never understood that part, I'm just going to reset the spawns. It basically means you need five heart containers in order to do it, in order to get it. And they, they assume you're going to get it based on um, beating a couple of levels, since you get a heart container after or after beating every boss. But I've just gotten two of the, th basically the two heart containers you can get without having a whole bunch of money. Um, of course, you have to buy the bombs in order to get them, but... There's only one heart container you need the uh, ladder to get to, and another heart container you need the raft to get to. And then, so the only other one left, so there's, since there's five, is one you still have, you have to have a candle to get to it, basically. And, uh, ouch. Um, okay. So I'm gonna go here. I'm taking a slight detour before I get the, I have five heart containers so I can get the white sword. But so I don't have to come all the way back over here, because of the way I have to leave to get the white, after I get the white sword. I'm gonna get this hundred rupees right now. To get it out of the way so I don't have to walk all the way back over here again to come back. Um, ow. Ow. <laughs> okay, that guy almost hit me. So it's a good thing I uh, kept running. Okay. So we're almost to White Sword territory. God dang it. 
God dang it! <laughs> um, this is not good. Okay, guys. Alright. Thank you. Alright, so I should be able to get the white sword without dying, hopefully. Okay. So... We're almost to the white sword. Like, well, I have Twitch open, Gorley, it's just minimized. Okay, so he's in a bad spot. The goat thing has to be in a better spot. Which is there. He walked the wrong way. I'm gonna reset him again. And he's still in a bad spot. Wow, I've never had to reset him this many times. Why is he walking that way? Stop it. I want him to spawn there, but I want him to walk down and not up. Like that. That's how I want him to spawn. So the white sword's here. So master using it, and you can have this. White sword. Now I actually have a weapon. And I never got this, the wooden sword, but straight to the white sword. So there's that. And the white sword is pretty awesome. And I need to dodge that. And not get hit by that. Um, oh, I need to get that. I need to get that. I need to get that. Definitely need to get that. <laughs> Alright, that saved my bacon. Now I've got... Laser sword! Yay! Okay, and then this is the only way to leave that area. That's why I wanted to go ahead and get that hundred before I left, because I didn't want to walk all the way back over there. Waste all that time. Um, nope, shoot. Stop. Yeah, like I said, I, I keep Twitch open. I just... I just have it minimized. I also have my, obviously have my stream on uh, mute, so I don't get uh, sound feedback. Um, Alright, so now is going to be a time of, of getting a lot of money. Um, so I'm going to find a couple of more spots where you, where you get some money from the Moblins. But the blue ring costs 250 rupees. So obviously, the next part is basically farming. Um, but not so much farming, there's places... Um, where you can get it. There's like, there's more, there's many more moblins, basically, that are just going to hand you money. So, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to buy the blue candle, because we need to burn some bushes down. So we're going to buy the blue candle. We're going to come over here real quick. So we're one screen up from the starting screen again. So right here is one of those moblins. This one's only 30, but it's a good start. So then we're going to go... Actually, I probably should just go this way. It's probably quicker to go this way. Um, let me get my candle out, because I'm going to be burning a couple of bushes next. that Zora because I'm getting tired of it shooting at me. So here's another mob, and I believe this is another 30. Yep. Okay, now I don't have to do this, but since I'm over here, I might as well. This is one of the, this is the, 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 the only other heart container we can get at this point, because we don't have the, the uh, ladder from level, or the ladder from level 4 and the raft from level 3. So, while that isn't a requirement to um, pick the potion, that's like a noob move. Who picks the potion? I believe it's this one that burns. If not, I'm going to have to go back out. Okay, so it's the other one. Noob mistake on my part. So it's... Um, and if, for, if you wonder why I went back out and, I went out and back in, um, the blue candle can only be used once per screen. So you have to leave and come back in order to use them. Um, later on, I believe it's in level 7, you get a red candle that you can use as many times as you want in the, in the screen. But since I'm not going to be doing that, we're just working with what we got. Okay. So we're actually almost there. This is good. This is really good. I don't care about the fairies since I have full health. Um, Let 
more bombs, not that I really need them. I believe I can get at it from this one. Yep, okay. So right here... Stop it! Dang it! Okay. We'll get them to respawn anyway. Another Moblin. This guy has 100 again. So now we're at 244, so we only need 6 more rupees, so we'll probably just farm it off of enemies. Because there's 5 of it right there. I mean, I could go around and find another Moblin, but at this point it's almost, you know, like one another Moblin that gives you X amount of coins, but it's not even worth it at this point. I'm only one one rupee away, I can just farm it off of an enemy. There it is. Alright. This doesn't take too long, as long as you got some uh, decent drops and know where everything is. It is a little luck based with some of these drops, especially if you just decide to farm from uh, from enemies for a little bit of it. And I believe it is this one. Alright, and there's the blue ring. 250. But what the blue ring does, for those that don't know, is it makes you take half damage from everything. So, very useful item. I don't know why I just slung fire at myself, but whatever. Now, we're just going to go to level 1, and I'm going to run through level 1 real quick and just show you how ridiculously easy it is with um, with both of these items. And also, just a fun fact, that's a shop. I'll just show it to you, why not? It's one of the places to buy a cheap uh, large shield. 90 is the cheapest you can buy a large shield for in this game. But there are other shops that'll sell it for like 120, I think, and that's I think the normal going price for it. But there's a couple of shops that sell it for 90, and that's one of them. Nope. Notice I took, even though I got hit, I didn't take any damage because of the half damage thing. Because those things only take one, deal one. So when I take half damage, or they deal, I guess they normally deal half a heart. So the game won't let you. I mean, it 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 it. it Basically, it knows you took a quarter of a heart of damage, but it doesn't take it off of your total until you've taken a half of a heart of damage, so... It doesn't penalize you for the hit until you've gotten hit twice. Tarot Master 4, what's up? How you doing tonight? Or today, wherever it is where you are. So since Remy seems to know you, I'm guessing Remy brought you here, so welcome. Any friend of Remy's is definitely a friend of the stream. Yeah, it's getting towards tonight here too, it's 6 o'clock. Uh, I've been streaming for like, almost 5 hours now. That's almost some sort of record for me. Um, I think the compass is in the room to the right, but I don't care about the compass. Dungeon map. This map, this board's supposed to basically be an eagle in shape. It kind of looks like one, I guess. And still, think about think about how much harder these things would be without the white sword. They'd be taking a set of two hits. They'd be taking four hits with that dumb wooden sword, so, I mean, it makes this entire stage a cakewalk. It actually makes stage two a cakewalk, too, because really, without, you know, knowing everything about this game, you're pretty much not normally expected, I guess, to get this sword until you've beaten the first two levels. So the game kind of is, I guess, difficulty-wise geared for you to have the wooden sword for at least the first two levels. So it makes level one and level two kind of really easy, already having it.
So it's nice to have uh, a couple of the top tier chatters in here. And then, so we actually, even though we got the bow, I didn't really need to get the bow. I'm just, uh, I'm so used to getting everything when I come through here anyway. I just kind of did it out of habit. So Boomerang is the other item we get here. This is one of the few dungeons we get two items from this game. Um, level 8 being another one, actually. In level, or, I'm sorry, not level 8, level 9. Level 9 where you fight Ganon in this game has two items. It uh, has the red ring and it has the silver arrows. And the red ring, much like the blue ring, reduces damage. But the red ring reduces it by... Um, basically, it reduces it by three quarters, I guess is the proper way of saying it. It reduces it down to one quarter. Um, so here's the boss of level 1. Watch this. One, two, three, dead. Because the white sword... And first piece of the Triforce. <laughs> GG. So that was uh, donation in number two. White sword and blue ring without ever getting the wood sword. And before getting to level one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Those on YouTube, you can you know comment. You can like the video if you want. Subscribe if you want. Don't matter to me any. Um, you can donate via the link in the description. You can uh, follow me on Twitch via the link in the description and join the fun of the live stream and the chat. Interact with some people. Have a good time. Uh, so thanks for watching, YouTubers.